This video is not for persons under the age of 13. By watching this video, you are declaring that you are above 13 years of age. Hello and welcome to today's video. What I want to do is have a look at how we can proportion animals and specifically in this case a horse. Now I've done proportion videos of humans before but someone asked me whether I could do a video on animals. Well this is one example, this horse. And we're going to look at how, I, how you can proportion things by structuring basic elements and using that as a guideline to make the drawing accurate when you put it in the final phase. We'll be doing that using a, a computer drawing tool which I'm not very good at but um, that will help us to see how we do these things and then we'll transfer what we learn from that onto an actual drawing. Right here's our uh, horse. What we need to do is work out basic proportions so that we can transfer that to uh, a drawing later. So let, let's try and get some sort of boundaries in place. So that's roughly where the top of head is. I'm going to take the head on the left hand side to about there, which is a convenient spot because it, it kind of coincides with the rest of the body there. And we've also got an end line there, if I can keep it straight. It's never easy doing straight lines on computer and you're out to limit there is uh, that basically so we've got a, a rectangle that's taller than it is wide one thing I do want to do I'm going to put a little dot there and then I'm going to go up to here and that gives us uh, a line that we can use the first part of this horse I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely differentiate that area and again round about there uh, so the the horse itself is inferred in this sense I'm gonna see if I can draw this as straight as I possibly can now that actually connects up with other really interesting things there don't it it connects up with the the ear and it connects up just fairly much round about where the eye is but we'll uh, come back to that in a bit and I'll try to stay about as straight as I can with these I, I literally cannot do a straight line with these uh, pen drawing tools so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that is roughly like a circle so that's what I'm going to do. Half a circle there. And we see this line here. I'm, I'm going to say that that is pretty much parallel. I'm going to bring it right down to there. With regards to this, I'm, I'm thinking, well, 
it's at the uh, the uh, nostril is a, a curve that's at the upper it, it starts just if you go like that it kind of goes into the same sort of box that I've just created there but above it so that goes there And again, it's, it, it follows that parallel line. And I think that we can have a look at this now. I think it'll be round about there, if I can keep a straight line. Yeah, it roughly is, so I'm... I'm confident about putting a line there that's connected to there and then I'm going to come to here and I'm going to I'm going to say that's an important point and notice how that top lid of the eye there uh, the bottom lid there is a lot a lot lower but we want to see how, how far that bit there goes and I'm saying that's about half of the this segment here so you can come down from there so we've actually got where we need to be and you can put your curve in that area so that's your main eye well your one eye uh, So let's come back down there and um, we want to do like a, a really nice curve that comes up and it basically does that. So that's its, its jaw. We said earlier that we've got that kind of match out so in, in this particular case it comes about halfway it goes half up there and it goes half down so and again in this segment here this section it goes about half And that comes about there so that gives me the position of where the ear is and once you've got that angle there I can then do the main at the back of it and things like this the main uh, they're not critical to the uh, structure of the arse itself um, obviously the front air of the main that will come that that goes over that third point and then comes to there and we've just got one more thing and we can check a line up there and that tells me where the end of that is now where does that go it's just at the well it, it, it's specifically on that line and where that um, ear meets there the only thing we have to do now is uh, we'll go around there and create the nostril and it's just like a a curve and it its mouth that follows pretty much that line that we did there but it starts at this point here and it it what uh, it kind of wobbles in and out like that 
till you get to this point here that we've created just one or two more things right so that's about halfway halfway again that's where I'll start my neck and then bring it round although that isn't what we're looking at today um, that that's the other part of the neck but you can also see that that goes round there which is to the front part where quite a bit of muscle is there but that that there is where the rest of the body would go so let's have a look at that without the uh, horse being in place and see whether we've got anything that might look like the representation of an horse yeah we have we've, we, we can work with that so this section of the production of the horse is basically done you then go on to use that as a road map to draw the horse itself right let's try and reproduce this image up here uh, as a drawing as a pencil drawing first what we need to do is get the parameters of the actual horse itself that's what we did originally we created that box that represented the space that the horse is in as you can see in the uh, image it's got a, a, a big rectangle around it so let's do that first what I'm just going to basically do is uh, draw a straight line don't matter how long that is because we're going to uh, do other things with that and then at this point here we'll, we'll draw another straight line and again that don't matter because we'll, we'll figure out how big that actually is in a bit so this is the width we'll put that there and that's the height what we need to do is uh, to get the correct proportions for the rectangle is divide the width by the height and you get that from the original reference image when I've calculated the width from the height it's this height is 1.36 times that width let's say I want to make this about six inches the width so I've got that and I can also place in that line up there so we've got we've got um, this third part of the box but critically important what we do now need is our way it is so we find that by dividing the width by the height which gives us that so we've said it's six inch so six inch times 1.36 and that number by the way is going to be different in every every case that you do it it's it's not a set number it it's just that divide by that so we'll do the calculation for that and uh, we'll find out where that actually ends so having done the calculation this needs to be about 8.16 inches now I'm not right sure what that is in inches so I've converted that to uh, millimetres and that's 
208 millimeters now I do know what that is so I'm going to place it on the position where I think it is make sure I've got that there and then I know there and that will give me my box and I know this seems like a very tedious way of dealing with things but if we want it to be accurate when we're doing the lines and everything this is what we've got to do we have now got the outer limit of where the horse's head would be from here I'm going to just do a, a time lapse it's basically just covering what we've already gone over uh, just in the drawing process so enjoy a little bit of music for a bit So that roughly, although I think the angle that it goes off at is probably like that. Is out of proportion an horse. And this is not just about proportioning horses, this is how you do it when you're trying to get the accurate measurement of any animal it's a matter of finding areas in the actual physical thing itself that connect up and go yeah well that's in, uh, that's specifically next to that and, and it's made a lot easier by using this system of creating lines and squares and, and y you can calculate where things are so I hope this has been interesting to you, I hope it's helped you to be able to draw whatever, either horses or human faces or anything you want proportionally correctly. So thank you for your time and please click the like button uh, and uh, if you're not already subscribed please do that also. So bye for now and we'll see you in another video.